guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some more things that Larcy got for Christmas that weren't in her Christmas special because she either got it after Christmas or she got it a little bit before Christmas. So Christmas with families, of course, looked really different this year for COVID and there's still a Christmas that we have yet to do. And here are some great ideas of gifts to get for your dog and also your spouse. So one of the things that you guys did not see, these ornaments that I had made on Etsy because they were already on the tree she has that dog bone one, and she also has this one that is a paw print. And then I have a matching one of the paw print and the dog bone as keychains on my key ring. And then she also got these Karina Dental Life Chews from my mom, her grandma. We got her a new food bowl and water dish because hers is getting way too small for her age now. And also I really like that this one has a slow feed right inside of it. So it actually like goes together. Like you can pull this out just like a normal bowl on this side. It's so much bigger than her pink one that we've had since we got her, but this is really, really nice. And when I fold it up, they go right inside of each other, so it's like a little pancake. I love that. Uh, this is something else that we got her, but I can't show you what it is because it's a secret. <laughs> um, and you'll know our secret if I show you, but I will show you guys soon. I got this from Shein. It was like $3. She has a blue one, but I thought it'd be nice if we had a nice pink one too, because obviously I love pink. So I got this for her whenever I was buying a bunch of sweaters for myself. She got a pink rain jacket, which for the life of me, I literally can't find it right now for some reason, but I'll insert a clip of it. All right, so I found her rain jacket. I forgot that I threw it in the standing shower downstairs because she had just worn it the other day when it was pouring rain outside and I didn't want to get the floor or anything all wet. So I just threw it in there to dry. But as you can see, it's really, really cute. Of course, it's pink and it has like that reflector strip on it, which is really nice. And you can also tighten it around their head if you need to. But she didn't really seem to mind it. It has a really nice pocket. And look at this. You cannot tell me that she does not look freaking adorable. And then I also got her these rain boots, which you would already know about if you watch our videos. Just told a whole video on that. I bought her these bully sticks because everyone always talks about bully sticks. It grosses me out as to like what they are and they kind of freak me out. But whenever she eats one, I have to hold it in my hand and like watch her eat it because I'm so scared that she's gonna like choke on it or something but she does really really love this another thing that we got was this book this it's like a i spy slash where's waldo book but you customize it to your dog so we actually got this from my husband's grandma but it is a where's larcy book so you basically customize what type of dog you have and like the color of their coat and stuff this is not sponsored even though i really wish that it was but it is so freaking cute. Devin and I spent so much time going through this and there's like a bunch of other little things that you have to find on the different pages but they just have like the cutest little scenes. It's so detailed. Just I I love stuff like this. So as soon as I saw it I was like "Ooh, we need to get one for Larcy. And then some other stuff that we got. This is actually something that I got for Devin and I, my husband and I but I am really really happy with them so I just want to share it. So this is a best self book. This is the intimacy one for relationships and they're kind of expensive. I think this is like $25 for 150 prompts which is basically 150 cards. It's yeah it's expensive but I really really like it and my husband does too. We sat there and went through almost a whole deck like the day that we got it but it has like these different categories on it. So the different categories are past, random, life, relationship, intimacy, and about you. 
you. And you can see the different colors there. My husband and I have been together for going on 13 years and there's still some things that we've learned about each other because of this card deck and just stuff that like we don't ever really talk about or things that like I think that I know him so well that I could answer it myself but he did answer differently than I would have expected him to on some of the questions and the same thing for me. So if you have not gotten these I would highly recommend. It is great for opening up your communication. Communication obviously is the like most important part of a relationship but that just goes to prove that even if you've been together for a really long time it doesn't mean that you still can't learn things about each other. And then another thing that I got is the couple's adventure book. There's hair on it but it comes in this really cute box. They have one of these for family and then they have one for friends. Obviously I got the couple's one. When you open the box you get these two little like scratcher things to scratch off the different uh, things that you have to do. And then the book is actually really, really nice quality. I don't really know what I was thinking getting it right now though because there's not really anything that we're allowed to do. Like you can't even go to a restaurant or anything right now. So um, we might have to wait until hopefully things die down. If you haven't seen ads for it before, you basically just have all these different pages of activities and stuff that you have to do. So you just scratch off what the activity is. It tells you how much money it should cost you, what time you should do it. It, how long it should take you to do it and then it gives you some little clues right there and then all you do is once you complete the task you write a little note about it and then you take a picture and put it right over there pull this off and it'll stick to the page so you can buy a little polaroid camera with it but i chose not to just because it was really expensive and i already have a polaroid camera for my wedding that i can use for it but i am so 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 excited for that i've seen so many ads for it so i finally decided to just get it. And then I already showed this in her Christmas special, but I just wanted to show you guys the board because it is so freaking cute. Devin and I played it on Christmas Day after they took their little nap and Larsa got to play out in the snow. And my husband is not a game person. Like I am a huge game person. I love games. I will play games anytime, any day, anywhere. Like board games are my thing. And this, the board, like it says go Goldens for the go. For jail, it's go to the kennel. The kennel is the jail. The free parking is the dog park. And that's the kennel right there. But the little spots on there that were like the luxury tax and the waterworks, they now are Lee's, Fire Hydrant, the Butcher Shop, and the Dog Spa, which we landed on the Dog Spa a million freaking times. And then instead of, I can't think of what these two are called, they are Good Dog and Bad Dog, which I think is kind of silly because there's good and bad things in both of them, so I don't really understand the difference of them. The railroads are like different quality traits of a golden retriever, so it's friendly, family dog, intelligent, and gentle. And then all of the properties are different like things for related to dogs. So it's Puppy Love, Ambassador, Chief, there's Prince, Goldie, Ashley, Buddy, Chomp, Jack, Star, Moses. Instead of houses and hotels, it's bones and toys. So a toy is a house and a big bone is a hotel. But on the back of each card, it has like a little fact about golden retrievers. We thought that was really cute. And then the little game pieces are like the mailman, a fire hydrant, a cat, a flea. Another thing we got was a new rug for where we take her in and out of to go potty just because the one we had before was starting to come apart because of how many times I've had to clean it or gone over it with a vacuum and this one as you can see is totally different so hopefully it holds up a lot better and we also got a boot tray which I don't know how we lived so long last year without one because I feel like it's really gonna help preserve the life of the rug because we're not getting like water or anything on it. Now, my husband and I don't buy each other Christmas gifts. We instead buy something big together that we like need for the house because like if I want something, I'm gonna just buy it myself. I'm not gonna wait for Christmas for him to buy it for me. And same thing for him. So we just kind of thought it was silly to buy each other gifts. So instead we decided this year for our big Christmas present for each other, we are gonna do what we were going to do last year and that is get a fence for our house. So that way Larcy can just like run around free and hang out and we don't always have to go to the dog park. We were gonna do that last spring, but I kind of chickened out because I was so scared to spend any money at that point because I, everything was just so up in the air and unknown. But yeah, there's a little updated haul. Some really good stuff that I would highly recommend. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite Christmas present was this year. I would really love to know. And if it's something that you would highly recommend, let us know why. So I hope that you guys 
enjoyed seeing that updated haul slash more Christmas stuff. As always, if you enjoyed, please make sure you let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.